Pixels stars Adam Sandler as Brenner, who works for the Nerd Brigade, which is obviously a spoof of the Geek Squad. Kevin James plays President Cooper. Yes, Kevin James is the President of the United States, and he has a bit of trouble reading, which is an obvious yet hilarious George W. Bush joke. Josh Gad plays Ludlow, a crazy conspiracy theorist that goes from quiet and shy to yelling at people in less than a second. I gotta say, this guy is probably my favorite character in this movie, and some of the things he says are frickin' hilarious. Then there's Peter Dinklage, who plays Eddie, who is like the King of Kong champion gamer of the world, and his character seems like he is stuck in the 80s, but I like him. Then finally, there's Michelle Monaghan, who plays Violet, a woman who works for the military and the hard-to-get love interest of the movie. The premise of Pixels is that in 1982, Brenner came in second place to Eddie in a video game championship. The championship was recorded and sent into space to show an alien race that may find it someday some of our culture. Fast forward a few decades and everyone has grown up, well, as much as a bunch of nerdy kids can grow up, and an alien race has found the tape and took it as a declaration of war from Earth. So they invade Earth using video game characters. Wait a second. That sounds familiar. Why does that sound so familiar? Oh yeah! Now I remember! The entire premise of Pixels was lifted directly from an episode of Futurama, where Fry helped save the world with his knowledge of the past. Well, anyway, much like Fry, this crew has to use their knowledge of the past in order to defeat the invading aliens and only these nerds can do the job. Pixels has been getting an immense amount of hate from critics, and I gotta say, I don't think all the hate it gets is entirely warranted. Sure, this isn't Adam Sandler's best work, but it also isn't his worst work either. It's somewhere in between. The main character of Brenner seems kind of unrelatable and a bit unlikable at times, and some of the jokes fall flat. However, that being said, there are also some very funny jokes that had me genuinely belly laughing, and I found them to be great. And I always appreciate cameos in movies, and there are quite a few good ones in Pixels, such as Nick Swartzen and Dan Aykroyd, for example. And speaking of Dan Aykroyd, he is big on the subject of aliens, so he fits right in. And during one scene where two of the main characters are talking about aliens, they decide they need some alcohol that is a bit stronger. So they pull out a bottle of Crystal Head Vodka, which just so happens to be a brand of vodka created by Dan Aykroyd himself. I thought that was a pretty cool thing to put in there. And there aren't just human cameos either. Aside from the games that they are being forced to play, such as Centipede and Pac-Man, there are also cameos from several other video game characters in 80s pop culture. Hubert, Frogger, Joust, Bubble Bobble, Smurfs, Paperboy, Mario, Hell, even a certain 80s British computer-generated TV host makes an appearance. With all of this, Pixels has a pretty high nostalgia factor, and I had a lot of fun with it. Sure, Pixels isn't perfect by any means, and yes, with what they had to work with, it could have been way better. But at the same time, I had a lot of fun with this movie, and I don't think it deserves the amount of hate it has gotten. There's a few things that don't make much sense, and there's some jokes that fall flat but there is still a lot to like about it. I say give it a watch, especially if you are a fan of 80s video game culture. You might like it, you might not, but it is definitely worth a watch. This has been Doughboy with Hardcore Academy, and peace out.